What's up everyone, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. And today we are talking about Alolan Marowak. Now this Pokemon is very, very interesting for me. I'm really excited to play this a lot in VGC 2020. I liked it a lot in 2017 when it was announced and when it was brought into the game. It's very, very powerful. Essentially what it does is it has the ability uh, Lightning Rod, which makes it very syn synergize very well with a lot of water type Pokemon, which also is good because it gives it uh, coverage a very solid basis for a team of water and fire and then you just need a grass and you have a basic core um, which is very good. Alola Marowak also has the access to a unique item that only it can use well it in its regular form with Cantonian form but that is called Thick Club it just doubles its attack stat very very good that also stacks on top of um, you know investment which is crazy because it has a base attack at 80 which double that with investments, it's ab absolutely just a monster. So this Pokemon is really, really cool. Anyway, today we're going to explore some VGC, a VGC build, a singles build, some speed tiers, and some damage calc. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, Fire Ghost typing. Pretty interesting typing. Only it and Chandelure, I think, have it, um, which is good. You know, you get your normal and fighting uh, immunity, which is good, and then two times weakness to Water, Ground, Rock, Ghost, Dark. And then down here, I didn't have it marked. Whoops. This is resistances. Um, resistances include all of the above. Seven different weak, uh, seven different resistances, if I could talk. Uh, fire, grass, ice, poison, bug, steel, and fairy all are pretty big in the meta, big enough in the meta to be good as resistances. This Pokemon can switch in pretty safely against a lot of things. And then also, of course, we have Lightning Rod to, uh, you know, no damage from, from Electric. It draws it all into this Pokemon. You know, you have like Gyarados out. Your opponent's going to go Thunderbolt. Well, you switch a Poke your partner Pokemon out for a Lola Marowak. You just absorb that and it's easy money from there. Pokemon is really good. Um, great typing, great ability, great stats. Let's talk about its stats a little bit. So HP 60, not amazing, but defense 110 and special defense 80. Very bulky as far as the defense and uh, special defense stats go. HP is a little lackluster. Special defense is about average, but 110 defense is pretty solid. So the Pokemon, you know, it can uh, it can take a, uh, tank an attack or two um, for physical Pokemon. Um, and then as far as our offense goes, it's very, very solid attack at 80, which is great. And then speed at 45 makes it great for a trick room. Not very uh, high up speed stat, but under trick room, you know, it's, it's pretty solid. So that's about it for the overview. Let's go ahead and talk about a set. So as far as our build for VGC doubles goes, um, we have ability lightning rod. Now this is mainly just so that we can use it on something like rain. You could go rocket if you wanted to. That's its other ability that gives it uh, no damage from th from recoil, things like flare blitz. It's not enough um, for me to want to use it, but you know, it's it's not bad. Lightning Rod is good on doubles, though. Um, you know, even if you only have, like, one or two Water-type Pokemon, it will come up once or twice um, throughout, like, you know, a couple of games in Ranked or something, um, whatever you're taking this to. And uh, it'll come up a couple of times, and, you, and you'll be very happy about it. Um, as far as our item goes, Thick Club, there's, honestly, I can't think of any argument to use any other item. Um, this Thick Club is thick with two Cs. This thing is powerful. Double your attack. Our attack goes up to 145, double it, 290. That thing is hitting like a truck, hitting very, very hard with no supplements. You don't need Swords Dance, you don't need anything. Thick Club is just hitting them hard. So that's what we're doing. This Pokemon, honestly, it makes a great Dynamax target, mostly due to its Thick Club doing an insane amount of damage. I mean, even after Intimidate, we're able to Oko things like Incineroar, which is just crazy. Like this Pokemon's damage output is absolutely great. Um, so let's talk about some moves. So Flare Blitz, and Poltergeist are our best physical moves for stab. This shouldn't really come as much of a surprise. Poltergeist is a new move, hitting 110, and then it fails if your opponent doesn't have an item. They're usually going to have an item. So Poltergeist is almost always going to hit 110. It has 90 accuracy, but it has no recoil, which is cool. So just 110 stab, um, you know, physical, doing a lot of damage. And then Flare Blitz, it's Flare Blitz. Like, it's our best fire type, um, you know, stab physical move that we have access to is very good you do a lot of uh you know it has a lot of recoil but that's fine um next we have bone meringue that's just our best stab move uh, or not stab it's our best physical coverage move that this pokemon gets but bone meringue is just amazing it also turns into max quake which is amazing as well um so yeah it's good and then we ran detect you can run protect if you want to i just like detect now um over like most things because uh, or over protect on most pokemon because uh you know most 
imprisoned Pokemon will have protect things like in DD running around in DD male um, Jellicent they can both have pro uh, you know protect and uh, imprison and, and you don't really want your detect to get imprisoned so or your protect to get imprisoned so we're running detect makes sense anyway that's gonna be it for our move set let's go ahead and talk about some flex moves some things that you can put in um, in place like I said I kind of like uh, you know dual stab and protect and then uh, one coverage move or like you know move of choice which is good it's just a good way of using uh, you know maximizing on your full set um, always so Marowak likes uh, those two moves bone meringue and protect you can switch bone meringue out for something like thunder punch rock slide brick break throat chop any kind of coverage move there you want and we also have access to ally switch this gen which is really cool um you know it's ally switch it's interesting you can play it on so many pokemon so many people or so many pokemon got it now um that it makes ally switch really powerful and nobody's really expecting it on marowak so it's pretty cool to have that uh, as an option um, that's going to be it for our moves. Let's go ahead and talk about EVs. So um, on our spread here, we are running 252 HP, 252 attack, and then uh, put our leftover four into defense. And then we went brave nature, giving us plus attack and minus speed. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You know, it's very basic, but it also just does the job well. You don't really need to put in anything defensive wise. You can. Um, definitely, but I, I still would recommend putting it into attack because with thick club max attack I mean you're hitting so hard. I mean have I said it enough how much damage we output we do with Marowak? It's amazing I mean just wait until the damage calc section like you'll see that it, it's just very very good um, So yeah, that's about it for our move uh, or our build in general for Marowak for VGC Let's go ahead and talk about a couple of synergetic Pokemon So first off like I said this Pokemon thrives in in trick room also um, I don't know if I said the uh, nature and stuff, but we are um, brave nature giving us plus attack minus speed and then we also want zero ivs into speed just so we can be as slow as possible and that way we can be as fast as possible under trick room so that's good um anyway so synergetic pokemon porygon 2 this pokemon is very good for a trick room setter it's also just super bulky it has good damage output i mean i've talked about porygon 2 so much on this channel in these last few days in the last week um that i'm honestly just sick of explaining why this pokemon is so good um, I do have a guide for it, and there's going to be a card that uh, pops up in your top right if you want to go over and watch how amazing this Pokemon is. It's just so good. It's one of the best um, Trick Room setters we'll have access to. Arguably better than Dusclops, arguably better than, you know, Jellicent, Gothitelle, um, all of these Pokemon. It's very versatile. It's really good. It has a deep move pool. It's great. Um, anyway, this is a Marowak video, not the Porygon video, so if you want to hear more about Porygon 2, go over and uh, watch that video. But uh, for now, the second Pokemon, second synergetic Pokemon we have here is Politoed. This pretty much just signifies that Rain teams love Lightning Rod. Um, you know, like just cover one of their, you know, three to four at max weaknesses. It's very, very good. Um, and I'm talking about like dual typing Pokemon. Um, so yeah, Lightning Rod is just very, very good for coverage and helps out the Rain teams, the Rain boys, a whole lot. So that's going to be it for this slide. Let's go ahead and move on to some speed tiers. So as far as speed tiers go, um, you know, it's a speed tier that we're pretty comfortable on. We're at 45, the same as Conkleder. You'll be speed tying Conkleder sometimes. Conkleder a lot of the time will also have, um, you know, some form of speed, whether it's uninvested or maybe a little bit of EV EVs invested. So it'll usually be outspeeding us. But, um, you know, if uh, Trick Room is set, then we're going to be outspeeding Conkleder more likely uh, most of the time, uh, which is very good. And as far as, you know, we're not very scared of Conkleder anyway, you know, because, like, most of its whole appeal is fighting, which we don't care about, which is cool. Um, a couple of things that we do outspeed initially, Rhyperior, Gastron, Hatterene, Dusclops, Torkoal, Ferrothorn. All of those people are people. All of those Pokemon are people, too. Um, all of those, <laughs> all of those Pokemon are under us in speed, which makes them faster than us when Trick, excuse me, faster than us when Trick Room is set. So you know, if um, if you're up against a Trick Room team that has you know two plus of these Pokemon, you might want to stray from um, you know setting it, maybe even even setting it you know to uh, to reverse it, which is very good. So you just want to be careful. Um, with that, a couple of Pokemon that do outspeed us, Snorlax, Porygon 2, Gothitelle, Jellicent, Sylveon, um, Lapras, all of these Pokemon above us uh, that are like pretty low to mid speed. We do get sped, outsped by a lot of those Pokemon initially. That's why this Pokemon loves Trick Room, even against mid speed to, uh, to fast Pokemon. So it makes sense. The Pokemon, you know, it's, it's a solid speed tier. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. 
that's going to be it for our speed tiers. Let's go ahead and talk about some damage calc. So this is where this Pokemon really, really shines is its damage output. Um, like I've said a couple of times, Thick Club is crazy. You know, max attack, Thick Club, stab moves, just kill everything, which is very, very good. Um, so first off, let's go ahead and show off some damage calc. So Mur uh, Murawak, Alolan Marowak, Flare Blitz with Thick Club, max invested. Um, into a 252 HP 60 defense Rillaboom, the current most used set on Picolytics. We are hitting 160 to 183 to 189%, which is a guaranteed Oko all the time. It can't fake out us. We are just killing Rillaboom left and right. Rillaboom is the most used Pokemon as well on Picolytics. So we're just taking down the most used Pokemon like nothing, which is very good. Next, we have our Pokemon Intimidated. So here's one of them that the uh, maxing is very good for this Pokemon. So Incineroar, um, you know, we are Bone Meringue hitting an Incineroar, a 244 HP, 84 defense. It's the most used currently on Picolytic spread as well. Um, into an Incineroar, we are hitting 59 to 71%, which is a good bit of percentage. You know, in this side by side with something like uh, like Dazzling Gleam, Togekiss might be able to knock it out. But, you know, we don't knock it down to its Pinchberry, so we'll see um but it is it is pretty good bone meringue hit actually we don't knock it down to its pinch berry that's actually pretty good um so yeah like this side by side with maybe like rock slide or something is doing a lot of damage knocking out incineroar pretty easy stuff if we do max then our max quake from bone meringue hits 119 to 141 even after intimidation so even minus one we're still guaranteed okoing if we dynamax which is very good it's a great spread um great against Incineroar. Next we have our Thick Club, Alolan Marowak Shadow Bone. Um, this is actually Poltergeist. I changed the uh, thing for it. I'm not going to change it right now, but it is po Poltergeist. We're not using Shadow Bone. Um, so yeah, Poltergeist into a Dragapult. Um, and actually, let me add that this is a Dynamaxed Calc here, um, which is very good. So into Dynamaxed Dragapult, we are taking in Guaranteed Oko. Very, very good stuff. Even if it doesn't Dynamax, we obviously we kill it um and if it doesn't dynamax phantom force is capable of taking out uh okoing alola marowak same with um you know it's max move it's max counterpart max is this max poltergeist max poltergeist they didn't really think that through when they added poltergeist as a regular attack but uh yeah 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 max max poltergeist still okos um alola marowak if we dynamax it won't which is very good anyway next we have um our marowak alolan this is poltergeist once again Poltergeist into a Hatterene, uh, max HP for defense, hitting 95 to 112. If it's Dynamaxed, if it's normal, we're still able to take an Oko on it. Very, very big stuff. If it is, uh, if it's Dynamax, we have a 68% chance to take an Oko. So if you're up against a Hatterene, you think they're going to go for uh, that without follow me, then go for it. If they have, you know, if they lead in DD, um, in DD and Hatterene, you don't want to go for that really because it'll get follow me and then you know immune but still it, it's very good to have this di uh this damage calc um anyway next we have kingdra muddy water into our alola marowak this is in rain uh keep that in mind in rain it's hitting 111 to 130 percent if it's not in rain if it has life orb if it has choice specs if it has if it max geysers it's taking out our alola marowak so that's honestly just something you want to maybe stray from uh you know being uh, up against a pokemon like kingdra but still good damage count to know um that's our only defensive one that and dragapult um so yeah we're not like super super bulky but physical wise i mean maybe we can take an attack or two you know phantom force if you're up against a dragapult you can live their attack and then dish out uh lethal damage back to them which is very good kingdra scary um water pokemon are just pretty scary in general but especially special um, which Kingdra typically is. Anyway, that's going to be it for our damage calcs. Let's go talk. Uh, go ahead and talk about single spotlight real quick. So, uh, first off, we are using the ability Rockhead. I mean, you can use Lightning Rod, and then you just have one additional immunity, which is good. But, uh, you know, Rockhead taking away from our Flare Blitz damage is probably going to get more usage in singles. So, that's what we went with. Um, Thick Club, never going to change that from this Pokemon. I don't think ever. I mean, it's just such an, an insane item that if you don't take advantage of, like, why are you even using Marowak, honestly? Um, so, yeah, Thick Club, Rockhead. We are using just three moves. Flare Blitz, Poltergeist, and then one coverage move. We went with Low Kick for this set. And then we have Swords Dance as well whenever we're in an optimal position. We Swords Dance up. Thick Club plus Swords Dance is going to take down any Pokemon in your path. No no question. Marowak just becomes very, very strong, um, especially after a Swords Dance. It's just insane damage. 
Um, and then for our spread, we just went 252 into HP and 252 into attack. Went adamant nature, put our leftover four into defense. Um, since we don't really need a trick room all the time with this Pokemon, then we're just running, you know, like HP and attack. And, and you don't have to go zero IVs speed because trick room is not very prevalent in singles. So yeah anyway that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching if you like marowak alolan marowak go ahead and like and subscribe it means so much to me go down to the comment section and say hey nice vid or anything constructive if you want if you have anything real to say but if you don't have anything real to say still go down in the comment section and say something it helps me out it makes my day brighter anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video join my discord follow me on twitter do all of those things have a great next two months goodbye